Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Gold and my baby run. <laughs> what? There's no way I'm gonna only do, you know, the first three members of the four and then leave her hanging and Lance, you know? Like, I may split up into two parts to have shorter segments, but I'm definitely gonna finish the Elite Four tonight. I'm determined, though. If this may end up going up past midnight. I don't know. It's gonna depend on how long it takes me to edit the other video. And this one. And the processing. Sometimes that stuff comes back to bite you in the butt, you know? Because it can take a while. Okay, time for a Thunderbolt. Yep, we're opening up with the T-Bolt. The Thunderbolt. And it didn't do that much. Gosh darn, it's taking down Umbreon a pain in my backside. Well, I'll keep throwing T-Bolts at it. It seems very good at resisting them, to be honest, though. It's probably got some decent um, special defense, then. Well, darn. I want to use a full restore, or I want to keep on the offensive. Um, I'll throw an attack out for now. And gosh darn, we hit ourselves hard. Okay. Switching over to Zerg. That way I can cancel out the sand attack as well as get rid of confusion. That's probably gonna hit like a truck, though. Oh, that's right, it wasn't Pursuit. Never mind. Um, let's see. Flamethrower. I'm half tempted to use Smog, but let's face it, Smog's probably not gonna do that much damage anyway. Ooh, burned. But that doesn't really matter. Okay, flamethrower. Let's finish off Umbreon. And that takes care of Umbreon, alright. Okay. Still not good enough to survive, but whatever. Gengar, huh? Well, I can take advantage of that. Okay, Ice Switch, I'm sending him out there. Of course, as soon as I get, you know, smooch him out there, Houndoom's inevitable. It's going to hit the field. Running. Oh, you're gonna use your one chance to attack to curse me? Gosh darn it, that was weird. Like, if it was puffy or something, I could understand, like, why you'd go with curse. Yeah, it would have given me half a reason to bring along Meteo, I suppose. Now you just give me more reason to switch out, though. Um, let's see, I'll try and set up... ...something. Nah, no, screw it, I just wanna use Parish Song. I'm hoping I'm faster than, um, Houndoom. So I can pull this off. Yeah, but it's definitely gonna kill me between the Curse and, um, Flamethrower. Though Flamethrower alone probably would have been enough to knock me out. Mostly I'm going to be using a revive strategy and try and um, force her to do switches so I can knock out the other Pokemon on her team. Because I ain't got high hopes otherwise for um, winning this battle. Sad part is this means I'm going to burn through a crap ton of revive items in order to take down freaking Houndoom. And it's over for Zerg. That crunch attack, man. It's something to be free be afraid of. Okay, I'll throw up a light screen. It won't save me, but hey, I'll do it anyway. And then we'll switch over to a less than ideal target, I suppose. You ain't getting away, sucker. <laughs> I'm surprised. I figured she would have done a switch. But if she wants to let Houndoom go down, that's fine by me. And its count is now zero. 
And Puffy gets a crap ton of experience, despite not deserving any of it. Uh. Well, enjoy it, Puffy. You, you didn't earn it, but you got it. <laughs> I ain't got anyone to switch to at the moment. Okay. Get the ice switch back up on her feet, and then get her out there after, um... Puffy gets slaughtered, probably. I'm expecting this to be a one-hit kill, and it is. Okay. Ice Punch. I suppose Stab Psychic would have been just as effective here, if not more so. But I'll use an Ice Punch anyway. And that leaves Murkrow. But I don't worry about that thing, because let's face it, I can punch it in the face with ice. I already know the outcome of this battle. <laughs> Before it even began, I was surprised. I was expecting her to try and switch out Houndoom, so I'd be able to trap it with Mean Look there, and I wouldn't take a hit. I guess she saw through my strategy there. Or she figured she'd gotten most of my Pokemon team down, she was willing to let it knocked out and sweep them with the rest. Didn't pan out for her, but I guess if that was the plan, it wasn't that bad one. <laughs> oh, oh, it's not just a selfish perception, it's a reality. There are certain Pokemon that are just much better than others. Like, by miles. Ugh. There's just no getting around that, you know? Well, time to revive everybody. And then hit everyone with a Hyper Potion. Not that it's particularly useful, I suppose, to a certain extent, because let's face it, most of Lance's Pokemon are just gonna be like, Hyper Beam. Like, what happened? Like, I got hit by a Hyper Beam, I'm dead. Like, like seriously? Like, yeah, that's all it took, one Hyper Beam. Like, I'm not even sure what, um, Gyarados is gonna do, to be honest. But I guess we can start off with T-Bold and hope that knocks it out. At least that's what I'm hoping for. <sighs> Good thing you can use items in this area, though. If you couldn't use those, this baby drone would probably be stopped right here. Or I'd be forced to power level to the point where I'd just be all um, ridiculous. Oh, we'll battle, all right. Of course, I'm gonna cheat and use items if I have to, and you'll be um doing whatever you have to with your six Pokemon. I suppose someone argue it's a somewhat fair trade-off since I only have effectively three at the moment. Two, really, since Zerg's not gonna be able to help much this battle. Okay. Time for a Thunderbolt! That's potentially gonna kill Gyarados, maybe. I mean, it's got a four-time weakness, so... It can tear a new one, usually. Yeah, I didn't practice against Lance yet, so... This is new territory for me. This may or may not be easy. It's gonna depend on how fast these Dragonites are. If I can outspeed them and Lance launch Ice Punch first, then the battle will go my way. Um, if they're faster than me, this is gonna become a bloody um, fest real fast. Oh, I am quicker. At least the 47 Dragonite. And we can one-shot him. Okay. Well, this just got easy. Charizard, eh? Not a bad call, I guess. Makes sense. I mean, it has fire, so it definitely can counter my little smoochum easily enough. And I don't want to waste time on a light screen, so I'm just going straight for a kill with T-Bolt, or hoping for it. Ooh, paralysis, so I make it pale to get the win anyway. Maybe. Ah, nope, didn't go off. Darn. I was hoping the land didn't need to be paralyzed for the turn. 
And I got burned. Ouch. Impressive. <sighs> okay. Put another level on Jewel here. And that leaves Dragonite, right? At some point, I just know he's gonna pull out Aerodactyl. <sighs> that one's gonna be a pain to deal with, too. Okay, let's go with another Ice Punch. And just wipe this Dragonite out in one hit. Ooh, a critical hit, no less. Oh, if only that had been saved for a more worthy target. Like a Psychic Blast on Aerodactyl. No. Besides the fact that Blizzard can only be cast like five times, there's the fact it only has 70% accuracy, so it's too risky a move to rely on here. I'm gonna see if I can outspeed this sucker. I may not be able to, I don't know. If I can land a T-Bolt, I can then try and finish it off. Oh, Hyper Beam. Nice. <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. Seems a bit excessive considering the situation, but hey, to each their own, I suppose. <sighs> I'm guessing he's gonna follow this up with Rock Slide. Oh, never mind. That Hyper Beam left him so vulnerable being finished off by Ice Punch it one shot is sorry, but that's payback for what you did to my L kid, damn you. What did it do to deserve being hit with a hyper beam in the face, huh? Huh? What? What did it do? Oh, yeah, that was the dragon I was most afraid of. If it was fast to me, this could have gotten ugly. But no. Damn, that went a lot easier than playing against um Karen. Ugh. Hound Doom, the real threat of the Elite Four. Screw the dragons, worry about the fire dog from hell. Oof. Yeah, it's over, alright. Well, I'm glad you can be happy about losing. Not many can be happy when they lose. It's a special talent, I have to admit. No! You can't evolve! And you can't evolve either! Boom! You're going into Elite Four. Going into the Hall of Fame, not going to leave four, like what? No, Hall of Fame. Jeez. Losing my train of thought there a little bit, I guess. And my daily abuse, because I put these babies through training camp. Or I guess boot camp. Of course, some of them sort of dropped off, I guess. Like Chuchan. Poor Chuchan. Being stuck forever at low levels. Never able to rise to the occasion, because, you know, its tactic is just such so hard to pull off. Um, I guess they persevered, because I believed in them. Or is it because they knew they'd get a spanking if they didn't do what I wanted? I don't know, you tell me. I don't want to do the interview anyway. Please spare me. A long time, eh? Uh, yep, their courageous Pokemon are also inducted. And some of them are completely unworthy of being here. I sort of wish I had switched out um, Swirlpool for Meteo. Um, kept the HM Slave on hand, though. Don't know why. It was just there. Um, but yeah, I guess I could have put a Clefable that had really low levels on in the Hall of Fame. Not a Clefable, a Cleffa, sorry. Jeez. But boom! Hall of Famer! To be fair, Hellkid actually did some work this episode, so it deserves it. And there's our, v our um, MVP, Most Valuable Pokemon. <laughs> Sir provided some help, though some of it was just letting itself get knocked out. Same with Puffy there. She ate a hit for me. And then there's poor Chuchan, which 
hasn't done much of anything for a long time, has it? The poor little electric mouse got shoved in the the back door there, I guess. Like, just get out. You're not officially in this team. Yeah, I know. Every blade time. You know how to use Pokeballs. Aren't you happy with that rating? <sighs> well, time to dance. Dancing Pokemon. You're gonna dance the night away. <sighs> Well, at least that takes care of um, one of the runs getting past the Elite Four. The other runs still need grinding, because I haven't done any of that work in them yet. Yeah. Hoping to get around to it tomorrow, though. Who knows how much time I'm going to really have to work on it. So that's plan on going grocery shopping and stuff, too. <sighs> as well as working on a bunch of other projects, some new, some old. Mostly want to focus on some of the old ones, though. Mostly the PS2 games. I'd like to make progress on those and hopefully start finishing them off. Especially something like Mod Kind of have been sitting on the cusp of the end of the game for several months now, like four or five, I swear. Because updates on that game keep getting stalled out. Because I want to do um item grinding and then I stop and don't work on it for weeks at a time. <sighs> and yeah, I doubt I'll reach my goal of 5,000 videos, to be honest. I'd have to pick up the production rate massively if I want to reach it at this point. I'd have to do like 10 videos plus a day. It's hard to keep up at that rate, because I'll usually come home from work and want to take a nap, usually. Because I'm up to like 2 in the morning most days, and I have to go to work at 5. So yeah, I kind of drag my feet. Sometimes. Plus, when I got home today, I had a bit of a headache, so I'm sort of glad I slept that off. Makes recording a bit easier if I don't feel like I have someone trying to split my head open, you know? Well, that'll do it for this episode. Till next time, then. See ya.